Hello, my name is Till Felrath. And I'm Sam Bardewell. And we're here today to talk a little bit about our favorite uh, piece or our favorite installation here at Art Dubai. We are in the gallery of uh, Alexander Gray from uh, New York and uh, the installation that we see here is a combination and a dialogue of pieces by Hassan Sharif, a local Emirati artist, and Luis Kamnitzer, originally from Uruguay, um, that has been living and working in New York for many years. So what makes it interesting to us in this case is that you have two pioneering artists that almost uh, were doing things like an alien in their own territory. So they were working really without any precedent or any connections, coming up with the most avant-garde things by any standards, by any means. And now here they really are united for the first time in, uh, in this installation. And this is actually quite unusual for a gallery to take such a risk at a commercial art fair. So it is really a truly curated exhibition. And what makes it unique is that these two artists are both conceptual artists that are working a lot with performance art. And they manage to capture performance uh, processes or the uh, sort of an ongoing uh, piece of art into a, either two-dimensional or three-dimensional object. So when you look, for example, here at Hassan Shadi's uh, floor installation, you not only are seeing a, a bunch of little pieces of paper, but you're actually imagining that it's kind of not finished. You almost feel like you want to take something, you want to kick it, you want to clean it, you want to add something to it. So what you're doing essentially is you're visualizing instantly as you're looking at this piece how it is actually constructed. You're not just seeing a finished sculpture, a static sculpture, but you're seeing something that is quite organic with an undefined beginning and an undefined ending. Much the same way when you look at these uh, little drawings on the wall here, it is very much the same thing. You are seeing something that is a geometric grid-like structure with a little bit of change in every little uh, frame that you see. So really what you are thinking about is not just the finished product, but you're actually thinking, oh, it kind of moves like this, or the artist was actually making this curve. So this is a very successful way, if you want, where an artist manages to showcase a performance piece in a two-dimensional or in a three-dimensional object. Now these two artists united here is probably a very unexpected and uh, for us a very unusual and, and great, great surprise and discovery. When you're in this installation, you actually end up having a very hard time picking which artist made which piece. And this is really a truly unique dialogue. Two people from coming from very different backgrounds, not from the centers of art production, having similar ideas and being united here. There's another piece actually that we really, really like in, in the fair, which I think we would steal because it's much more kind of compact than this work. And it's a collaboration between two artists, Bromberg and Chanarian, and it's at Paradise Row. And it's a great piece because it has a very interesting link with the history of modern art in the Arab world, specifically in Egypt. So the two artists were in Egypt in 2010 and they came across the work of the Art and Liberty group who were a group of predominantly surrealist artists that were based in Cairo, some of them were Egyptian, some of them weren't, who were also publishing a lot of interesting pamphlets and uh, publications, periodicals that were very leftist in their inclination and they were used kind of as a statement a against the monarchy, against the colonial presence of the British. So the work has a very interesting reference to an act of a political resistance that existed in the region way before we had started talking about the Arab Spring or the current revolution. But what's amazing about the work is that the artist managed to go and find a printing press that was from the same period and presumably the same paper on which the Art and Liberty Group did print the first uh, pamphlets that they did at the time in not, between 1939 and 1947. So the work has a very interesting link to our own uh, kind of history of modernity and also an excavation and a reference to a very specific moment of socially engaged art in the region. And, I, and we think it's a very special work that we would like to take with us when we leave.